and now uh, the wind's going to try to take the umbrella. Yep. Yeah, because that, that, that's always good. Good times. So, rhododendron. I don't even know what that is. It's a flower. It is. It's a. It's a actually kind of a bush. Now, okay. I bring this up because these are the random things that come to my head. Like, okay. for example, a rhododendron is a kind of azalea. Okay. That's an azalea right there in front okay. of that house right there. All right. Not that people can see it, but we'll pretend like people sure. can see it. It's an azalea. It's an azalea. Look it up. Yep. Uh, rhododendrons are uh, kind of. They're, Apparently in the azalea family, from what I remember from childhood and understand, like, my parents were, like, super gardener people, and I am definitely not super gardener person. Like, going outside is dangerous to my health. Um, <laughs> it really is. Um, as you can probably tell now. That's the umbrella. Um, so, rhododendrons are kind of like that first time that I realized that things could be different in different, um, Climates. Okay. Uh, for example, a uh, rhododendron in Michigan, you'll never see it really get above three or four inches or three or four feet tall. Okay. So it's about, you know, highest there. Gotcha. Right? In Georgia, however, those fuckers get 12, 15 feet high. Damn. Just really, really big. So it's just about creating the kind of environment in which we can best grow. And what may work for you may not work for me. Right. Like rhododendrons, for example, really, really like coffee grounds. Whereas um, other plants, if you give them coffee grounds, it's like, that's too much acid, I can't. I can't even with that shit. And they won't grow. They'll just shrink and get cranky and just die. Get cranky and die. That, get cranky I, and die. I think that's my, my business plan. <laughs> get cranky and die. I love it. Yeah, I, I think it's a good business plan. I, I think it's a great one. It was great.